Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. A cut down to size by Obama's border chief. New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez made headlines for her social media stream where she accused border agents of mistreating illegal immigrants, saying that they are wrong and reckless, among other things. At least I'm not trying to cage children at the border and inject them with drugs. That's not a mistake, that's just hatred, she said during her monologue, delivered while snacking and putting together furniture for her apartment. B. Obama era Border Patrol Chief Mark Morgan appeared on Tucker Carlson tonight on Thursday to respond to Ocasio Cortez's comments, saying that he would try to restrain himself when commenting on her rhetoric. The United States Border Patrol should be applauded, Morgan said. He went on to explain how Border Patrol agents have been dealing with overcrowded facilities since 2014 and have been searching for solutions to safely secure those awaiting judicial decision, however they are hamstrung by lack of funding to meet the needs of those detained, because the very people who believe in illegal immigrants' rights have held up the funding. According to Carlson, Ocasio-Cortez is accusing Americans of being cruel for cruelty's sake which is shocking to hear from a member of Congress. Morgan said he believes that based on his 30 years in public service, the border crisis is at its worst ever point. Ocasio-Cortez didn't relegate her comments during the live stream to only the border crisis, however. The congresswoman compared her critics in the Republican Party that girl in the exorcist that's, like, vomiting pea soup, and said she pities those who are not taking action on climate change. The reason Republicans hate me so much is because I confront them directly on their moral, their lack of moral grounding on so many issues and, not just that, but the reason they're so upset and they act like that girl in The Exorcist that's like vomiting pea soup, that's like them and negativity," Ocasio-Cortez said in one clip. The reason that they do that is because they need to fiercely protect a paradigm and way of thinking that says short-term gains are more important, no matter how marginal than any long-term loss and any long-term cost. When asked how many years until the planet ends, the congresswoman reiterated her previous statements that humans only have 12 years to decrease emissions by 50 percent, and then attempted to liken global climate change to the civil rights movement. We have 12 years left to cut emissions by at least 50 percent, if not more, and for everyone who wants to make a joke about that, you may laugh but your grandkids will not," she said, before continuing to compare those who oppose her calls for drastic action on climate change to those who were on the wrong side of history during the civil rights movement. Now watch yourself what she said in her Instagram. How many years until the world ends again? We have 12 years left to cut emissions by at least 50%, if not more. And for everyone who wants to make a joke about that, you may laugh, but your grandkids will not. So understand that the internet documents everything. And for all those people, you know, you want to look about, you want to talk about looking in the back of history, looking backwards. You look back and you open history books on the civil rights movement and you see those folks who are protesting against the ability for African Americans and Black Americans to have the right to vote. And they would hold up these bigoted signs and they would hold up signs that said things like, what about white rights and like all of this stuff in, 19, in the 1950s, 1960s. So just know that in the present day, there are a lot of people who hide the fact that their families and that their grandparents fought again against principles of equal rights in the United States. Not a hundred years ago, not 80 years ago, but in this generation's lifetime. So just know that while a lot of people can hide that their grandparents did that in the civil rights movement, you should also know that the internet documents everything and your grandchildren will not be able to hide the fact that you fought against acknowledging and taking bold actions on climate change. And people who are trying to mock and delay this moment, I mean, I just feel bad for you. I just pity you for your role in history right now.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.